So, hello everyone, Modern here. Today I want to make a top 10 female seiyuu, right? Or then Japanese anime voice actor. Right? Very important part of animes. And if that's kind of video, please subscribe. Press the like button and so on, right? Leave a comment below if you agree with the list and so on. Next week we're going to make a top 10, of course, males then, right? Voice actors. But now then, I want to make a video about the females because they're waifus, right? The ladies first. But before we go into top 10, it's one very basic rule, right? So this here is Asami Tano. She does sake, which of course I'm wearing my sake shirt, right? You know, I love sake. I think she's the, arguably the best voice actress in Zombie Land Sega, an amazing uh, voice one. However, she's barely done any other anime, right? So the only basic rule I feel is that they need to have a partially a body of work, right? They need to have done <laughs> a couple of animes, right? So you can compare and say, oh, they done these many animes. And I will talk about in the top 10 here, number 10, I mean, kind of why I put that over the one be 11 then, right? Because I also think they have to carry their anime to some extent, right? To be in, actually be in the top 10. So anyway, let's start. <laughs> so let's start with an explosive number 10 then, right? Takashi Rei. Of course, Megumin's voice actress, right? She's Emilia. And, you know, I mean, what can I say? You know I love Megumin. Or do I? No, actually, Junyu takes this role, okay? I'm making this a joke here, but seriously, I want to point it out how this list works, because I take this list very seriously, whatever, you know, get a life or something, right? So let me explain why. I say it's hard to make the list. I genuinely mean it. I was really struggling specifically with, like, number 10, of course, always Aki Toshiyaki, which does Jun Yun and so on, right? Or then Rei Takahashi does Emilia, Megumin and so on. So it really became that the Megumin versus the Jun Yun battle. I was like, oh my god, this is like, oh my god, you know, I love Megumin much more than Jun Yun, don't get me wrong. However, I put it in the top 10 here, so I want to point it out, so I take this very seriously. There's a course restarted, right? And the reason why is because, because here's a great anime, who's carried the anime? It's the voice actor of Restarted. And of course it's the other board of work too, right? They're coming to that now. But I'm just saying that that is why I put her over, honestly, a little bit of course she's the greatest media and so on. But I just feel like, if you look at the Restarted, right? Holy shit, it's Aki Tosuyaki. Amazing. <laughs> That's right, restart the baby, right? Because at the end of the day, restart is a perfect sample, I feel, of. Well, I have a shirt on me, <laughs> so I'm biased now, but I genuinely feel like that her work as restart there, that is when she's truly carrying an anime by herself, right? Uh, you know, she's basically does all the voice lines, argue with yourself, right? She's like, say all the time and so on, but it's a fantastic role played by her. And that's why I put her in number 10. Of course, she's also done Con, right? She's in Con. She's in, uh, you know, Hamba. And she's a lot of anime. Obviously good at Union and so on too. But at least the perfect example of a voice actress that completely owns her whole show, right? And then she's been, I guess, I mentioned the main character or supporter character in many, many animes. But I truly think that her, uh, again, right, her performance in as uh, Ristarte is just like, oh my god, that's like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> you Kobayashi. No relation to Kobayashi Dragon Maid. Amazing voice actress, she's my number 9, and she is definitely mostly known for her potato girl, right? Sasha, blues, amazing character, the sniper and so on, right? But the reason I love you, Kobayashi, and I put you in number 9, and it says it was hard to make, I can put her higher up, because she is the essential tomboy girl, right? And honestly, I said it before, but I really wish she would have voiced Yamato in One Piece. Uh, we are gonna come to Yamato voices later, though. Spoilers, we are gonna... <laughs> you know what I'm coming to Yamato, of course. But I do really love uh, Yuko Biyashi as the cross-dresser, right? As the gender-bender character, or whatever. She's played a bunch of these characters. So, of course, her biggest character is Maria Holic, and the main character in cross-dresser. Spoilers. A great anime. Uh, over 10 old now, right? Basically, it's about a girl going to an all-girl uh, school, and her roommate is not a girl. It's actually a boy, because it's a very cute girl. It's a bunch of um, hand stuff on this thing. <laughs> but anyway, so Yuko Biyashi is very, very recognizable as this amazing... Uh, yeah, like, you see here, Ruka, right, from uh, Stains Gate and so on, right? Charlotte probably has uh, a pee, pee no, but she's very, very recognizable as... Again, the, yeah, the cross-dresser, right? As a to either as a tomboy... As a very like masculine woman, right? Or as yeah, a male dressed up as a girl, right? And I think I easily her her skill to kind of have this like really really masculine dark voice, right? Back and forth is really amazing. There's a clip of her on YouTube where <laughs> when you when she sings and she changes her voice to like a male when she's singing. 
So she's, she, I, I think she's the best uh, actress, seriously, when it comes to playing the tomboy. So if you truly want to have the tomboy voice actor, she's number one, I, I think, easily, right? And you can probably see, there's a bit of trend here in the top list here. There's a bit of a couple of other, of course, actresses where I feel, oh, this is the best woman to do this kind of role, right? But I think easily, Miss Kobayashi is the best tomboy. And I say this, you know, my favorite role she's played though isn't actually a crossdresser, but it's actually Lala. It's Lala Gonzalez. Okay, so Lala Gonzalez in is a character in School Rumble. She's a Mexican wrestler. She comes to Japan and does wrestling and so on. And honestly, she's amazing as Lala. She's just like that's like I think one of the coolest tomboy characters. Her voice is ridiculously good and so on. But she's saying the sensei is the weird guardian character and so on, right? And also she plays in Kiss Him Not Me, she opened there, uh, which is not a great character, but like a, a girl is really fat and into a beautiful girl, she's a Funa Yoshi and so on. So she plays, she's very good at playing these kind of weird, I said, you know, you know, usually kind of a eccentric girls that are, you know, have no such kids or whatever. Or she just plays cute boys that dress up as girls. Daddy, 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 daddy. Haruka Tomatsu. Okay. I can't believe I put her in number eight, seriously. She's one of my favorite voice actors for a very long time. I love her music for that matter, so I listen to her songs all the time, right? I really, really love actually her role as Lala. So this is probably her famous, most famous roles. She played almost a zero two then, as we hear in the beginning, right? The darling. Um, probably still one of the most popular female character anime ever, right? Still to this day, you know. Never made season two, still she's pretty popular. Uh, a sound of course in Sword and Lion, so one Morgana, so that's right. Um, but for me, honestly, that was my favorite role of. Her. But this is actually my favorite role of Haruka Matsu, okay? And I love this anime. This is people see anime, but I love this scene with her, okay? So let, let's look at this. Nesson! Oh, this is so ridiculous. Now listen to this voice, this is a very role, man. This is the voice, it's beautiful. <laughs> you can say I'm biased, right? I'm sitting here in my Zero Two shirt, right? Obviously, Zero Two is an amazing character, and again, one of the best female anime characters ever, right? But I really do think there's those moments for me where I really love it, Haruka Tamasu, much because yes, she can play this like you know kind of younger, uh, psychotic Zero Two character, right? The crazy best girl in space or whatever. She can play these like kind of more sweeter best girls. We see, for example, in. Uh, uh, to love Ru and so on, like crazy alien girl, but still more sweet and so on. Right? But she can also play these kind of weird, similar to Yoko Biyashi, right? She can also play these like kind of tomboys, you get a guy with Yankee girls, right? With a dark, deep voice and so on. And I guess I, I think she, she's slightly better than Yoko Biyashi, not being the tomboy, but she can do the tomboy stuff and also other characters. And also, I give her credit for her singing, which I think is better too. So, I think again, one of the best things was it. So now I've hit the sweet spot here, right? Probably, I think this is. Oh man, I think she can easily be a lot of people's number one, right? Kana Shan! Um, Kana Hanasawa. One of the sweetest voices, right? Playing a lot of these adorable, nice, little Onishan character, right? For example, the older sister in Quintuplet. And I have to say this thing, I was really struggling not dropping all five sisters, right? In Quintuplet. They're going to be amazing voice actors, and they're going to be not the mention later on. But yeah, Kana, I think is the best one, right? Uh, she plays so many good characters. Maybe my favorite role is her in Marsh Comes Like a Lion, but I mean, obviously she kind of plays this, you know, sweet kind of sister character, right? Girl next door character. Uh, a very adorable uh, female character. She obviously has done like absurd amount of characters as well, right? And I, I come back to the mentioned earlier, right? There are some... And she's obviously done absurd amount of characters, right? So we can listen to them all. But I just feel like this is also what I'm talking about. That the course this list is a little bit like, okay, this actress has done like 500 anime, so she can be in the list, right? But really though, I took, as I mentioned, right? Kana does master this, this sweet girl, right? She does she truly master Kind of a little bit, uh, the, maybe the airhead, like Unodora, maybe, right? Like Red Blood said, but she really truly mastered this, like, the sweet girl, right? If you want to have a voice actor doing the nice female character, right? It's, it's hard to play, right? That actually, honestly, in my opinion, I might get some hate for this, but in my opinion, maybe Ichika's actually her best character, because I'm a spoiler here, okay? So mine is spoiler, right? But Ichika turns evil, okay? But Ichika turns evil, baby? I was like, man, no Kana is playing this 
you know, older sister, right? She's again adorable, only a shun character, right? As always, usually. And then suddenly in season two, she becomes evil and betrays them all. And I was like, <laughs> mate, I, I may be kind of fall in love with Ishika, that she was willing to kill her sisters. But also, yeah, then speaking, I felt that there was, like, we had the first clip of her, and it's kind of playing a Yakuza for fun, right? It was really fun seeing kind of like, okay, now I'm going to be really bitchy. <laughs> for, for once, I can be pure evil. I was like, yes, yes. Um, that, you know, fake pretend uh, good girl, yeah, it, it was amazing. And that's kind of Kana's, I feel, almost best skill, right? Because yes, she plays this super sweet next girl, but then sometimes she gets to play Shiro, right? She gets to play into the ghoul and so on. She gets to play this, like, this demo model, but, but sometimes, though, I think this is kind of the skill, right? Because she gets to play these really evil girls in, in hiding, right? So, Dead Man Wonderland, Shiro, you know, spoiled whatever, yeah, it's obviously the crazy murderer. Uh, in We have in Google, right? We have her playing as, uh, again, right? Now, oh, I'm just a nice girl, let me eat you, so on, yeah. So, Kana is also very good at this, like, playing that, oh, I'm just an innocent young lady, until I murder you, right? So, yeah, she's almost a per, she's that perfect Holy Pot character. Think, think about it, yeah, Kana is the perfect Holy Pot character. Every time she plays a, a demon or a vampire or something, everyone is like, yes, please kill me, <laughs> right? She's the perfect lure to pe pull people into a trap, right? Yeah, the perfect honeypot girl. <laughs> I bet ya. Yeah. I bet ya yeah, a lot of people thought gonna play Saura Hayami Hayo, right? Freaking Mama Your Baby! Mama Your! Oh, she's beautiful. And obviously, of course, the voice of Yama. So I love. I. I. So I love a lot of Saura Hayami's voices, right? Holy my god. Shinobu in Demon Slayer is probably her most famous role, right? Because that kind of Demon Slayer is so big. Uh, I think she had a breakthrough, I feel mostly through Kaguri. Uh, obviously, it was just Yamato, so the Yamato shirt. And, you know, President in Irumakun. That's a great role. Oh my gosh. She's an amazing voice actress. And, of course, Silent Voice uh, is an amazing anime, generally <laughs> speaking. She's a great voice actress. But I'll say one thing here. It is that I, well, I really love her, and I... Again, my favorite role for her is probably Mama Yor, okay? Mama Yor is like, oh, yeah. Spice Family, right? Coming back soon, in a month from now. I think it's her best role uh, to this date, right? She has this perfect, like, sweet voice, right? She truly is the mommy, you know? She's the mama voice, right? Yeah, she's the, oh, she's the perfect mama voice. But all that being said, right? I do feel that there is one other voice actress. So, let's just spoil for list here. That does almost the exact same voice, uh, it's just better. <laughs> But I'll say one thing here, we're coming to her soon in the list here, and the first time that I watched Haguri, it's like a side story, but when I watched Haguri the first time, I seriously thought it was the older voice actress, because it sounds so similar, and when I watched Demon Slayer the first time, I was like, Shinobu, is that voiced by her or her? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, it's so similar, but I really do love Sarayomi, and I blame Uda, I blame Uda, yeah. She probably would be higher up if Uda hadn't screwed over Yamato. She probably would have been higher up in the list, right? If Uda didn't murder Yamato, you know what I mean? Spoilers, whatever, yeah. Oh, my Yamato! My Yamato, okay? Who <laughs> Sean, baby? You be Huria. Let me be an old man here, right? So. This is probably the voice actor, let's call her like the queen of anime or something, she's probably the most, most anime. I don't know, she's like 200 anime, this woman, she's like 100 games, 200 anime. So, Yuvi Huria is, I think, probably the female voice that does the most, seriously. She's been in oh, so many anime. And she's obviously been in a lot of big roles, right? Um, maybe Eri is my favorite role, no, my favorite role is Naru, but... Eri, perhaps, could rumble, right? She's in Toradora, she's the main character in Golden Time, she's filled with Wiz, etc., right? And as I mentioned, for me, she's always gonna be Naru, right? She is the character, the, the you know, the, the girl, the first love interest in the harem. So, Love Hina, right, is like the second harem after Kotenshi Moyo, and she plays the main girl, right? And since then, I feel that Hu Shan Dan, of course, Yu Hu has played, Alex, again, 200 animes, right? She's been in like ridiculous amount of animes, 
usually playing as the sweet girl, like La Brava in my academia stand about yesterday, uh, and Seth, Seth right. So she's been in, I mean, this is like, I can sit there and list, like, almost, it feels like every anime who started in it, right? She's playing in the course new made anime, uh, I actually made, right? We also have, of course, Mr. Katsuchi and so on, right? As well in the anime. But, but yeah, she, she is in, like, every anime ever. And the weird thing with Hushan, though, is that, as I listen here, She's cast, she's been the main character right, several times, especially back in the day she used to play a lot of the main, kind of, you know, oh, she got to play the main girl, and she's playing the main girl in more than one horror anime, right? So she was like this, she was one of the biggest uh, voice actors. Uh, but nowadays, it's kind of like she plays any role ever. She's like, oh, she's the narrator in this anime? Oh, she's the girl, the, the guild girl in that anime? Oh, in this anime, she's this girl? <laughs> she, she plays like, I feel she literally... Like, she's she, she gone from kind of being, like, you know, one of the probably most uh, profiling, like, ex expensive casting girls, right? To then go down, and, be, and to some extent go down from being the main ca character, right? To being, like, any supportive character I can play. But I don't know why, but I have to say it here. Because I feel like every time I watch an anime, who shan is going to be one of the characters. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. She She's at the Samuel L. Jackson, you know, Samuel L. Jackson of anime voice acting. She appears in every kind of anime... Um, I mean, she's a great voice actress, right? She's amazing, she's the most iconic, arguably, I think, the most iconic voice actress ever, right? Um, she always sounds like Naru all the time, though. Honestly, though, she doesn't really change her voice that much. <laughs> but, but I'm just like, I watch this random Isika. Oh, she's a guildmaster in this anime? You know, you watch not Isika. Oh, no, she's a clerk in that. You watch third Isika. Oh, no, she's actually one of the main girls. She's Whist now, yeah. So she's like, in every kind of anime. So there's anything I would give this woman, right? Again, I think she's a great voice actress. But I have to give her credit for grit, you know? Like, she's a grittiest voice. She, this one and other woman coming here. But Hushan, I feel, from a number of years, she's probably the grittiest, you know? The grinder. She's like, I will be in every anime, no matter what role I play. That's the how I feel. But I, but I think the fun thing with her is that some other voices, just, I do feel that they kind of get typecast, you know what I mean? They say, oh, she's the, you know, she's the angry one, yeah. Or she's the nice one, you know? Or she's the psychopath or whatever, yeah. But Hushan... Apparently, she just plays everything, right? She's like, oh, she's the bad girl here, the good girl here, uh, and so on. Of course, my favorite sample is this. The best sample is, is, of course, when she plays the psychopath in King's Game. And this, she just plays this woman, right? That kills her best friend, murders people, it is crazy. And first, you watch it, and you're like, oh my god, this is so weird, man. It is Naru. She, again, if you go back, right, you know, 15 years or whatever in anime history, right? She was only voicing, back in the days, she was only voicing like a sweet, you know, dating girlfriend, right? She was the horror main character, yeah. she was date. she was in, in more than one anime. She was voicing the, you know, the, yeah, the best girl, whatever, right? The, the romantic interest. And then 15 years later, now she's voicing, like, you know, psychopath, murder rampage girls, and also the guild master or the clerk or whatever. She's just everything, and you're just like... Oh, yeah, <laughs> this feels weird, but at the same time, I respect that, baby. Spider-Man, I respect that, I respect that she's, a, she's just a quitter, man. She's just like, what can I play this time, you know? Oh, I can play this girl? That being said, though, I also envision when she voiced in Osama game, in this, this is the worst anime I've seen in my life, okay, again. This is the worst anime that's ever been done, okay? If you haven't seen it, don't see it, okay? It's the worst anime, literally, Osama game. It is the worst anime ever. Also, my ranking, great anime. Also, my game, worst anime ever. Like, I, I genuinely mean it. This is the worst anime I've ever seen in my life, okay? I made a visit about it, uh, no more than right? The worst anime ever. Um, insanely bad anime. But anyway, I always I was wanted to, you know, ask beloved Hushan how she felt, at, you know, casting this thing. Because the main girl in this anime is basically is the reverse Naru or whatever, right? Or she's just incredibly evil, right? You know, compared to her most roles before that, right? And even if she plays the other roles, she usually plays, you know, like, um, I would say, that if she's the main character, she plays like a supportive narrator or whatever, right? So this girl is like the complete opposite of what she ever played before. So I really wonder how, was it fun for her? Probably it was. She's like, ah, I can just be evil, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like, I'm suddenly cast as the reverse, like a Mark Hamill. I can be the Joker now. I used to play Luke Starbuck, and now I can be the Joker and kill people, yeah. She feels like she's played the complete opposite, but she used to play that. However, that being said, after this role, though, I felt she just played anything, <laughs> right? This is a few years ago now, and now I felt she played every character ever in anime. But seriously... This woman has been in like 200 animes and like, you know, 100 games, right? She's in everything. She is the Samuel Jackson of anime, was I think. She's like, oh, oh, who she is? Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh my god. Ah!
Okay, who do you call, right? When you need someone to voice an angry person, an angry chick, you perfectly a short person. Ri Kugumi, of course, Queen of Sundra. You knew, if you follow my channel, you said to me earlier, you knew I was gonna put in Ri Kugumi a high man. She's half been fairy tale, <laughs> that's enough now, but she's she's played god damn it, so many little angry girls, mostly. But you know, bunch of angry people mostly, right? But she's an amazing actress and you know you was like oh yeah she's gonna play like you know she, if she's, she's like I, she's like the most she's the most typecast person ever though. okay we need toradora uh, tiger okay her lewis you know it's like a lot of short girl a lot of anger um uh, you know uh, hayate combat butler okay she can play that she can play lala she can play the, the demon girl and this anime and it's just like in every god of anime she plays the angry sundra she's truly is the queen of sundras uh, she's voiced like hundreds of hundreds, right? If Hu Shan has been in like 200 animes, Rikugumi has been maybe a little less, right? But also in more than 100 animes. However, she has played like the same character in like 95% of them, and it's pretty impressive. Because as always, she plays the angry woman, right? Every goddamn time! Maybe except, uh, yeah, Kagura, perhaps, right? But they're all goddamn troll. So, yeah, I love, you know, Rikugumi, right? And it is kind of funny, though. Because, for example, right, when I remember when I was reading One Piece, right, so I was reading One Piece, uh, Sugar Appears, right, and I immediately, seriously, this is a true story, I was reading One Piece, and there's Rosa Ork, right, way before I did it today, yeah, and in my head, you know, I, I mean it literally, in my head, I'm hearing her voice, I'm just like, will you shut up, Fable, Baka, I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, I was hearing her voice in my head, that is how prophilic she is as playing this Angry short girl, right? Usually some kind of, you know, shibi baba, right? That's like actually a thousand year old, but this looks like a, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. That, that's honestly kind of what she voices a lot of the times. But, but yeah, it is hilarious how, it's just like, I knew it, man. The first time, right, when I was watching um, Vanitas uh, last year, so they introduced this new character, right? And she appears in the last scene of season one, and then it's a break, right? Season two or core or two, whatever. And the last scene she appears is this short vampire girl, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Short thousand year old vampire girl! I was like, I can, 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 can be voiced by the Kugumiya the Queen of Sundra! And of course she was! It's like every goddamn time, man! Who's playing this sort of little witch girl in, uh, you know, Yutkaisen? Oh, it's her again, yeah? It's like, honestly. She has to be the most typecast anime actress in the business. She has played probably over a hundred, a hundred plus hundreds, right? As I said earlier, she has been in a lot of animes, right? And she's played, you know, the male character. She's played Afonso Stepper in um, Forbidden Archimedes, right? She plays Al, right? She plays a lot of boys, right? Robin Park is also played a lot of boys, right? So that's also a common thing, right? A lot of females, of course, plays uh, male characters. And she definitely has played uh, several male characters. She's one of those voices that plays uh, like happy and so Yeah, plays angry. <laughs> not I was angry then. But honestly, when she plays male characters, it's probably the only time she's not playing a Sundra, right? She can actually play male boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, boys or whatever, right? And they're not Sundras. They might play angry so once too. Rumi Park plays more of those. Yeah, her and Rumi Park together is kind of fun then, right? In but larger myths because she plays... Obviously, Ed, right? The Roman Park plays Ed. She's angry, she's short, right? She also plays uh, his Shuya in Bleach. So, the Roman Park plays the, the, the kind of the, the male Sundra, right? And she's talking to the female Sundra. So, it's kind of funny if you if you really love your Sundra. But honestly, though, this is she's the queen, man. She's the queen Sundra. You see. <laughs> The most beautiful mommy voice ever. Come on. There we go. Mamaku Noto. Okay. So this is what I mentioned earlier, right? I didn't want to say who it was, right? It was a surprise. But, you know, like I mentioned, right? I love Mama Yo, right? You know, who doesn't love Shinobu and so on, right? In, uh, of course, uh, Seora Hayami's acting, right? But for me, and maybe I was an old old anime nerd, right? Gatekeeping it. But for me, Mamaku Noto is the ultimate soft voice, right? She is the, oh, the perfection of the the female like nice voice right uh she's used to she also played a lot of animes um never really did big effie 
Well, she was like probably bigger in the past, right? Which of course then mostly my favorite Shoujo anime of all time, uh, Kimini uh, Todoroki, right? Which is like the, the best Shoujo anime of all time. Sawako is her best character because she played still. Um, that's obviously a huge part, but but things that she's always been like the, the perfect voice. I really feel that. Um, for example, she plays a narrator in um, Celeste Works, right? She's always had this amazing, beautiful, soft spoken voice. And I think she is the, the queen of the soft spoken voice, right? Um, I wish she had more, I guess, anime to do it. Here's some examples then, you know, she obviously usually plays this little, either the nice lady, right? Or perhaps the older woman, right? Maybe the Milfi, yeah, you know. But I think she's probably, I would argue for that, is the ultimate Milf voice, right? The mother. End of the day, though, of course, my two massive favorite roles of her is I mentioned of course, Savako. Again, I think arguably it's still the best shoujo anime ever, right? When she then plays the main character. But otherwise, I think that her role as Yokomo in School Rumble is also an amazing role she plays. Um, my, my number three might be Mavis. Yeah, maybe Mavis is number three. But she plays a lot of roles too, right? And again, she took off as, I think, the perfect soft voice, right? Uh, what can I say? I'm just, <laughs> it's almost weird to me as it in the Yamu shirt on purpose because it's recent, right? Because I do feel that their voices are so similar. They're so similar. Am I the only one? Uh, like I said earlier, I thought they were the same person first, right? The first time I heard uh, Seori, as I mentioned, I thought it was uh, Mamiku Noto. They sound so similar to me. Um, incredibly similar voices. And it feels like, um, at least in my book then, right, Seori is like the spiritual successor <laughs> of Mamiku Kinoto. She's like that. She's like that. Then Mamiku Kinoto 2.0. That's what I feel, okay? Do you agree with me? <laughs> Leave a comment. I felt that, but I hear Yamato. Half of what I'm hearing is <laughs> Mamu Kunoto. Deep down, I'm imagining it being Mamu Kunoto doing the voice. Deep down, I have my dreams, right? That is Mamu Kunoto. Uh, but seriously, as a side note, again, right? If you haven't seen it, Kim and Todoroki is like the greatest uh, short your romance anime ever. Can't recommend It's like an 11 out of 10 anime. You gotta watch it, guys. It's, if you haven't seen it, if you don't like short your anime, you gotta give it a chance, okay? We, she plays the voice, main character, Savako. It's the sweetest romance anime ever. It's it's like a goddamn masterpiece. So can't recommend that anime more. And of course, I love Scooramba too for that matter. Scooramba is a classic like, comedy anime that was very popular, I guess, ten years ago. And no, no one has seen it, but it was very popular. <laughs> That's right, of course, Aoi Yuki. You know she's gonna come. She's the most hardcore working girl in the business, man. Who has done the most animes ever, right? But it is one woman that does like 40 animes in one year. It is Aoi Yuki, right? She's like, oh my god, I gotta voice every anime ever. I'm gonna be the main character in like three animes at the same time, right? She's, this woman's gonna survive a voice, man. It's crazy. And of course, the only thing I can hear is, Minaide! Minaide! Kingu Minaide! That's all I can hear it. Honestly. That being said though, she's voiced incredible amount of characters and she's voicing Satan herself, right? Truly the evil's most blonde woman ever. Yeah, that's right. Our Yuki voices Satan. Imagine that, right? She's voicing the girl that also her clothes and she's voicing every screaming girl ever and she's voicing... Of course, there's one anime that truly shows off our voice skills, right? Similar as I mentioned earlier to the right? Where the, the, the voice actor is carrying the anime so hard, but by playing starter, our Yuki has voiced uh, like 100% animes, right? The tremendous amount of animes in like two, three years, right? Was the main character in more than one anime, even in the same season. I think it's like three years. It was crazy. But seriously, her best work, of course, is Ama Spider So What, right? Not the best anime she's been in, but get me wrong. Not the best anime, but from a voice acting standpoint, it is the best, you know, her performance, right? Because she's carrying all anime. She's playing like four different characters. She's talking to herself, right? And it's like, I am four different spider people. And she has, I mean, the whole anime is basically her just talking to herself in her, you know, inside her like video game, right? Oh, I'm going to skin this. Like constant, right? She's just crazy. And it's so goddamn good. The Disney thing all the time, yeah. Oh, she, yeah, 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 yeah. Like all the time, right? Hoka, 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 this stuff, yeah. That in the end, that's why I come back to our Yuki being the second best voice actor, right? Because, yeah, incredible amount of work, right? A few hours, so many animes, blah, 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 so on. 
but just how she's so hardcore can carry on anime. And even the song in the ending is her singing, right? And she's just like rapping out the battle. So she's just crazy, you know what I mean? She's truly carrying her, right? But now you can probably figure out who's going to be number one, right? If you follow my channel, you know who I love the most, right? But I'm going to do a few mentions before we go into that, right? So a few honorable mentions. So this now is not particular order. It's more of mentions I want to drop in, right? So Aya Feras, amazing was her feel. She, her first was a hippie, you know? Uh, in Dumbbell, and she's done very few animes, but she's been a mess so far, and she's gonna play Power, right? The Change of Man's probably gonna be her mega very popular. She's probably been top 10 in the future, but now she's done like five animes. <laughs> uh, Sakurayana, very close release, right? She plays Gabby, she's Usha, you know, she's a weird <laughs> best girl, also evil girl. Uh, Inori Minasa, also goes very close release, she's Hestia, she's Rem, she's freaking Bunny Girl, right? Also incredibly close. She's like my number 11 or something. Very, oh man, yeah, I was like struggling to put her in the list. Uh, Robin Park, mentioned earlier, right? You know, she's the boy. <laughs> she plays some female character and a lot of tomboys and, you know, plays a lot of, yeah, male characters. <laughs> That's her thing. And in the end, I want to mention briefly Aya Hirano, right? Aya Hirano is a great voice actress. She was incredibly big back in the days, right? I have this, you know, I have this memory of me talking to PewDiePie, like literally because I've been to school with PewDiePie, we would talk about, you know, Haru of Melancholy, right? It's not a video one day, but yeah, uh, he, you know, he, he PewDiePie likes, you know, Haru Melancholy, yeah, it's a big deal back in the days, right? Everyone at anime, and of course, Lucky Star with Kanata and so on, so Aiharana was huge, like 10 years ago, but then she had this scandal, when uh, she slept with some guy or something, and that ruined her career, and it's very affordable, because she was one of, if not the biggest name, right? When I went, like, to school, like I mentioned, with PewDiePie, literally, we discussed Haru of Melancholy. She was like, the most popular anime voice actor, like, 15 plus years ago, right? But then she had a scandal, and then she basically got, like, no work since then, right? So this is how affordable it is now. If I made this list, like, 10 years ago, she might be number one, but now it's like, oh yeah, she's been like basically, you know, career over like for the last 10 years, which is very fortunate. But it is what it is, right? I can't rate her. I feel I kind of want to put her in the list, but at the same time, she bats on any animes, right, in the last yeah, decade because of that reason. So it's really unfortunate. But anyway, number one. Well, we all knew it. Who was gonna win? If you've ever been on my channel before, you know that I worship the god that's called Sora Amemiya. This is now a top 10 wife list setter. Uh, no, she's clearly the prettiest of them all, let's be honest here. She's the prettiest voice as well. Uh, but seriously, right? I think, honestly, from I'm trying to be as objective as I can, right? And, you know, I'm biased, and obviously, I have said many, many times she's the best female voice actress. But uh, seriously, I, I mean it right. Like, look at objectively speaking. Is still a woman right now in the anime industry that gets to do these many ma like main characters, right? You know, main characters. Not only is she in a lot of animes, right? Hundred plus animes, right? But she always gets to play basically the main girl too, right? Rent a girlfriend, Tokyo, you know, right? Uh, Yusetra, yeah, is <laughs> every goddamn anime. Uh, Alice, uh, of course, Konasuba, Aqua, was a big thing. Love is hard for a scientist, right? Um, you know, Elisa, better seven than the sin. She plays like every goddamn. If she's an anime, she's almost always the main character. It's just how it is. She, she plays, oh, she's the main character. She, she, she's the main character. She's the main character in Killing Bites. You know, who's the sharpest fan? Killing Bites, right? She plays the goddamn main character in like 30, 40 anime. It, like, it's crazy. Main character in like an absurdly amount of, of animes. And it's hilarious because she always dresses up as a two, right? She, she dresses up as the character, gets their hairstyle, acts at them. She's like a method actor. I mean, obviously, I'm biased, right? I didn't hear my aqua shirt. No, but I, honestly, I don't think I am. Of course, I love her, I keep saying she's the main, you know, voice actor, right? Obviously, Aqua behind me. I didn't put me... Oh, yeah, that, that was hard, though. I was... I mean, she's Ram. Oh, that was, I was like, maybe I should release... As I said, the list was hard to make. I was, she was very close to my number, you know, 10, 11. It absolutely was, right? But, again, right? I keep saying that... For example, the reason I put Union over Megumin, right? Even though I don't really put Union, but, you know what I mean? It's because she carried her role so good as Restarter, right? Our Yuki, again, right? She carried so many anime she's in as well, right? Plays in so many animes, she's the main character of like, I don't know, 20 animes too, right? Really cares about animes, but then who is worse than our Yuka, right? It's just a big, worse as always being the main character. That is Sora, right? She, she, Sora Amaya, yeah, she plays the main character in almost every anime she's in right now. 
she probably is the most popular <laughs> voice there. I mean, obviously this kind of thing, right? That the studios obviously hire her because they know she's a popular voice actress, right? So they take her and play her next role. But you just have to look at it from a factual standpoint. That's what I'm trying to do, honestly. You can say I'm biased or whatever, but I'm trying to be objective, right? I'm saying that, no, no. But she literally is, like, the. she literally, like, literally is, like, again, the main character in, like, at least one anime per season, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? She does, like, this season right now, right? She's doing Vampire, right? Call of Tonight. Main character there, and she's almost the character of the anime. The, the, the male guy, right, that wants to be a vampire with her, yeah, he's there. She's playing the drunken vampire. He's like, ah, he's just here. Yeah. He obviously casts the anime, right? Her voice is half the anime, right? What more of it? Rent a girlfriend. Also airing right now. She's the main female character, right? You know? Um, again, right? She's, she's the, yeah, she has <laughs> more than one anime in the same season where she is the main character. So there's a crazy amount of that. And it's like every season, as I mentioned, she basically gets to play at least one or two <laughs> main characters. It is really, really crazy. And she also is a singer, right? You know, she does all the singing. She does a really great song and so on. She usually does perform, right? Maybe the opening or the ending to her animes. I mentioned that several times, though. But obviously, I've given plus two. Oh, there was two, like, like again, Aoyuki, right? She does the ending song in, this, in Spider and so on again. But yeah, that also a bonus, right? If the voice also sings... For example, the ending. Sauru Hayami simply sings in uh, Dan Mansha's current ending. I think it's my bonus, right? Uh, so she also does that. But at the end of the day, though, I do love it that she's so into like playing as looking at the character. Ruko has been more and more popular in anime. I mentioned earlier, I uh, Faraz, right, playing uh, Hibiki and so on. She dressed up as Hibiki, went to the gym, right, and looked at Hibiki and so on. So obviously that, that's becoming more, pop more popular that the anime voice actor kind of basically plays out as their character absolutely becoming more more popular during these years but i feel sora again right she's, she's the main goddess right she's the girl doing that for the longest arguably or at least for the most like fame or whatever she's, she's the one i feel that has been in the most of like oh, look at me i'm aqua i can do water tricks look at me i'm this cat i can do this cat yeah and she like performs the character and dresses up as them and does their maneuvers and mannerisms and everything right? like a true method actor right uh, but seriously though Obviously, uh, I really, really love her, right? And I think she's the best. But uh, end of the day, right? I, I, I feel it is an objectively correct number number one. Because, yeah, she's like the main character in like 30, 40 animes. <laughs> she's like, for the last two, three years, she gets, to, as I said, she gets to be the main character in at least one anime per season, right? which is crazy. The only woman I can think about, as I mentioned, is number two, Awayuki, right? That also gets to be like the main character in two, three animes at the same time. That's like the only only woman too that has that that much like you know fame or whatever or importance or whatever you call it yeah, um, it's kind of crazy like how much both of them actually get to do <laughs> how both of them have done so many animes in the latest years right, uh, but anyway guys that's the list obviously Aqua was gonna win we all know that but see come on she is like everything Elizabeth Aqua whatever yeah she's Shoro Alice you know uh, what's the name of uh, whatever yeah it's like every god of anime ghost this this and that and vampire she's like you know brand, yeah scientist girl she plays like every goddamn main character you're crazy man uh, Mia right in uh, Nishio with monster girls like she's she's played like the main she's played the main female love interest or the main female character for the in for the last 10 years or so in a lot of animes right and her list of animes are also getting absurd, right? She's also been in so many animes. Anyway, the sun is going down. I'm doing the video here. Uh, please subscribe to the episode, right? It takes a lot of time to make the video. Obviously, the video is going to be... You're going to see the video, right? Uh, the editing takes a lot of time, too. Right? Because I've been doing this thing, throwing in the sound effects and all this stuff, right? So, uh, <laughs> the sun is going, starting to go down, yeah. Took a lot of time, right, to do, make the video. So, the sun has uh, <laughs> gone down now when I started recording. Uh, so, anyway, see you guys and have a great day.